This is we're looking at Nico at Tennessee. I'd love to say his last name. I don't think I can, but we're going to look at Nico and what he did in the world-famous Cheez-It Bowl uh, against Iowa. Obviously, Iowa was a great defense. They were number one in the country until Tennessee, and Nico got a hold of him. And I can confirm, I saw Nico on the island of Oahu before he played in the Polynesian Bowl at the Polynesian Cultural Center. He is a massive human being. And, of course, if he can move like this, it's, it's otherworldly, almost alien. So... Just real quick shout out to the island of Oahu or any other islands of Hawaii. If you guys are looking for somebody just to fly out and maybe surf with you for a little bit, I can teach you the entire scheme that we got. I'll do anything. If you give me a, just a warm place on your floor, maybe a surfboard. It's going to need to be nine feet and at least a bike to get to the beach. Anybody from Hawaii, hit me up. would love to spend some time with you. But anyway, we're going to dive right in. Neil against Iowa and see what Tennessee fans can look forward to for the next at least two years with Nico at the helm. Very first thing we're looking at right here, you got three by one set. I know it's kind of cut off right here, but three by one set, you see they got four defenders out here to these three receivers, and basically a five-man box. Here's a safety trying to roll in one-on-one -on -one here, and they just run a draw. So they're looking out here. They could throw it out here if they don't get the fourth defender out there, but they do, and now Nico, he's gonna run right there. You got the running back even leading up on that safety. Just right here, you can see how elusive he is Again, this is a pretty good defense. So this is not one of those defenses that people are just running through or anything like that. But right here you can see ISO block. Great job putting his outside shoulder right there. And Nico just outrunning this linebacker trying to get there. Probably one of the best linebackers in the Big Ten. Can't catch Nico. Walks to the end zone. Great job just seeing the numbers and taking what was there. Find a way to get to the end zone against a really good defense. No look here. And this one is a twin set and again with the quarterback that can run like nico you can get your back to lead just like they had on the last play and that's what they do here they're just running outside zone as you see fullback ends up taking the end this tackle instead of working here he knows i've got a back to lead so he can work back right there and pin that and the back's just going to clean it up and he's taking that extra defender right there and as you see nico with a little bit of savvy right here he's starting this thing trying to stretch it to the sideline and of course if he can't Let's get vertical as fast as we can. We only need a couple yards. Slips through there. Big body guy. Obviously, he's going to thicken up throughout the year and be a lot bigger by the time the season rolls around. But right there, just the ability to kind of dip his shoulder and get into the end zone right there was really impressive. Another look here of one of Nico's rushing touchdowns. They're faking Jeter there, pulling a guard here, faking downhill. And you see just the open hand that he's given. This DN, he's, he's still got eyes, knowing that Nico's probably going to be the guy that could possibly carry it. He's the guy that's in charge of that. He does a great job of recognizing you got a couple guys releasing you got tight ends working across here but whenever you have a quarterback that can make people miss you can't really account for that you know you got a guy in the flats you got a guy over the top right here with that linebacker but now nico he's one-on-one -on -one with his defensive end makes a miss long body finds a way to get to the end zone again just another way that Tennessee can use the athleticism over the next couple of years with Nico. Right there, we looked at just the athleticism on called runs. Right, we're going to look at his athleticism in things that are not really called for him. And right here, you're getting just maybe a two man route. These guys over here running a fade out, maybe a curl flat. These guys over here are doing absolutely nothing. Back's getting wide right here. So I'm thinking probably going curl flat here, hoping that Mike pushes that way. Really nothing there for Nico. He's looking at it. There's really not the flat. That curl looks like it's kind of. Covered up, pretty tight coverage there. So instead, he just starts to work. And right here, just you see the speed. And this is a great thing when you're a play caller. Whenever you know, you don't have to be perfect calling plays. So you call a play, nobody got open. But Nico right here takes it. And he still gets an explosive play 10 to 12 yards on a second and four. Gets an easy first down, even though the play call really didn't have anything open. But right there, Nico, just the athlete that he is. Scrambles around, outruns the defense, gets 10 yards, gets out of bounds. Here's another look, a little bit of a play action here, trying to possibly throw a shot. And as Nico steps back, he doesn't really see anything that he likes. He starts working to his right. And, of course, as a right-handed quarterback, this is pretty advantageous whenever you're working to your right. Pretty decent protection here as well. And you see this receiver right here, he's running back to the quarterback. Then when he starts scrambling, he starts working up. And right there on that, Nico sees it, shoulders around. Really accurate ball right there. See, he puts it in the one spot that he knows his guy's going to have a chance. It's high and away from the defender. It's his guy or nobody. This is on second and eight. And right there, high and away works for Tennessee. Huge play right there. Great catch. Great job getting your feet down by eight. And, of course, the sideline is absolutely jacked. Already up 14-0 on Iowa. You, you already got this game in the bag. You know on Iowa is not scoring more than 14 points. So everybody's just having fun now. This game's already over. Uh, but right there. 
Nico again, giving this guy a chance. Great job going up, making a play, getting a foot down. Another look here, and this time it's just Nico throwing a, a dime right here in the pocket. You're getting a bit of a stutter. You're faking this bubble here. Fullback's like, acts like he's blocking, he's slipping. It looks like they're going to post there. So you'll be looking one to the post, two to this hole shot, and then you can check down three if that guy's getting depth right here. But of course, outside back is an antsy right there up on the screen. Great job recognizing what you have right here, and you got those hole shots. You got those on a line. Missile right on that fullback's face about eight yards deep. Allows this guy to make a play. And now, again, fullback or anybody, I think it's tackled right here on the one. But, again, throwing that whole shot on that stutter into the boundary. Had to put some pace on the ball. Maybe the best throw we had all day. And, of course, he'll get better at, at just reading defenses and be able to get that ball off his hand. But, obviously, physically, Nico's going to be a guy for the SEC to, to have to deal with, especially in Heifel's offense. It's going to be really fun to watch. But right there, big completion gets him down to the one-yard line right there in the fourth quarter against Iowa. That was just a quick look of Nico against in the in the Cheese It Bowl. And who doesn't love the Cheese It Bowl against a pretty good defense in Iowa? So really interested to see how he progresses this offseason, see what he's looking like in the spring, and then also to see what the offense looks like whenever the season rolls around with such a mobile threat back in the back end there for Tennessee. Should be really fun to watch. But I really appreciate you guys watching. If you got to this point, please subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys again in the next video.